Hi guys, a bit of a different video today. I just kind of want to talk. So as of today, when I'm filming this in work, I've been promoted. <laughs> so I've transitioned from a standard systems engineer to a senior systems engineer. So I thought I'd use this opportunity to talk a little bit about what those roles are, um, what they actually mean, how they differ, and talk a little bit about the roles that you might find in industry for a software developer or a systems engineer or however it's titled, programmer, developer, whatever. They're all the same, just worded slightly differently. The roles that I'm going to talk about today are the associate systems engineer or software engineer, that's the entry level one. Then the standard or the blank uh, systems engineer or software engineer, and that's the sort of bog standard one, the senior systems engineer, which is what I am now, and then after that um, it gets a bit different depending on what company you're in, but the one that we have in our company is a principal systems engineer. And let's just talk a little bit about the differences and what you might expect from those roles. An important note to say before we get into it is that these could be slightly tweaked or different depending on what company you're in but I'm going to use sort of the experience that I've seen around different companies and businesses to sort of give a bit of a generic answer I suppose. So let's start with the associate systems engineer or software engineer. This is the entry level job. This is normally the first job that you will get once you have graduated from university perhaps from a computer science based degree or from college or you know if you are self-taught the associate role is the beginner role and what companies tend to look for in terms of hiring associates isn't particularly their expertise um, or their ability however they should be able to evidence that they know a little bit about what they're talking about and that they're able to work with code and computers, but it's more about the willingness to learn and adapt and the mindset, um, the passion, the sort of the fire in their belly if you like to actually get involved with stuff like that. So next is the standard or the blank systems engineer or software engineer. This is very much your bog standard developer role. Normally you'll achieve this by getting promotion from your associate or your entry position but also normally if you have maybe one or two years experience um, deving in industry um, and you're moving to different uh, companies, this might be the position that you go for, depending on obviously what you're looking for and your skills at. A standard systems engineer or software engineer is again, one that has the willingness to learn and adapt, isn't particularly managing people yet or leading projects, but they know what they're talking about. Their skill level is at a certain point that they can be trusted to get the job done essentially. And again, there is very much a learning aspect to the job. You're not expected to know everything and you very much lean on your seniors and your principal developers or whatever they're called in the other companies to instruct you and to help you grow. Next, the senior uh, systems engineer, which is what I am now. <laughs> um, this now is a person that is completely sort of trusted to be able to get the job done, has a experience in development and productionized code, and also has maybe um, a wealth of knowledge in not just one area, but maybe other areas. They start to become a bit of a um, connector between different technology stacks, perhaps. In my world, where I work, it's not a managerial position at all. It is more of a first step to leading and mentoring people. So you would be expected to be sort of a tech lead, lead projects, mentor people, tutor people, help them grow. A senior systems engineer should be looked at as a um, fountain of knowledge, essentially, on their area of expertise, but also an understanding of different systems around development and coding and technology stacks. The senior systems engineer should have their pulse on the industry as a whole and should know what's going on in different companies, uh, how they're working, what technology is doing and how it is evolving and changing. Not only that, but as I said, it's sort of the start for managing people, if you like, or becoming a bit more of a leader is a better way to put it. So seniors should be able to communicate confidently and to be able to get their point across and to be able to debate, you know, if one technology stack is better than another and for what reasons, having that 
wealth of knowledge behind them to evidence that. The senior will perhaps have maybe four or five uh, years of experience in industry underneath their belt before achieving the senior position. Finally, a principal systems engineer or whatever it is called, perhaps senior is the top limit um, in other companies. And in fact, in my company where I work, um, the principal is very much seen as um, still a developer, but very much more focused on managing people. They are line managers, they are team leaders, they are um, directly managing many, many people underneath them um, and having that um, people aspect, that people interaction. But I actually believe that's quite specific to where I work at the moment. And most of the time, the senior will sort of be the top out level of the developer stack or ladder, if you like. It goes without saying that the principal systems engineer will have a wealth of understanding of a variety of topics. They should be able to see the overall picture of how different technology stacks interact and the benefits and disadvantages of using certain ones um, together as well. They have um, years of experience behind them. We're talking maybe you know, 10, 15 years perhaps of experience behind them to help guide their decisions. So I hope that was somewhat interesting and perhaps useful to you. Um, hopefully it should demystify a little bit about these different roles that are all software developers or systems engineers or programmers or whatever they are, but they've just got this different title put in front of them. Associate, blank or standard, senior, principal, whatever it is. And again, I'm speaking very much from my experiences and how it is in the places that I've worked. Um, in fact, please comment down below if you know something different or if you guys have a different way of working or a different order to the systems engineers. I'd love to find out a little bit more. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know if you like this style of video. Um, of course, like and subscribe to the channel. Please feel free to share it around to anybody that might be interested and uh, have a great rest of the day. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.